Hey friend, I'm Olivia. Welcome back to Volcano Princess. Here we are at the start of May. We have some news, some letters, and a visitor. So let's start with the letters first. Good morning, ma'am. Here's a gift for you. Have a great day today. Tomorrow too, ma'am. Have a good day, Mr. Soldier. What's in the news? Lately, the Royal Knights published a new alert announcement for the Northern Area. Could all citizens refrain from approach approaching the Forgotten Forest, as it is far more dangerous than you expect? Last month, the Garden Banquet at the Oslet Gardens invited ten reputable nobles. What a show! Garden Banquet, always welcoming all dignified gentlemen and ladies. Fresh talent is always what the public has been asking for, and we wish more talented commoner girls have the chance to demonstrate their ability. Come and try it out at the Plaza Theatre. Your unique charisma is indeed what we need, and perhaps you can be the next beauty legend. It, it's not news, it's just ads. Good oh, Oberon, good morning. Good morning, Mama. Excuse me, is Rose home? Yep. Mona, what can I do for you? The cherries in the orchard arrived. I just got back from picking them. I want to make a new flavor of cherry cake in the restaurant, and I was passing by your house, so I want to invite you over to try it. Whoa, cherry cake! It's been a while since I've been so since we've eaten something together. Let's go. Did you hear? Lord Lepsa defeated a terrifying bird lady in the canyon. When did this happen? Yesterday. I heard it from that night. I heard it, I heard it from my father that the knights held a reception last night. Did Lepsa drink too? She drinks a lot. She won't get drunk even after she tr after drinking five bottles. Ha! Lepsa really is the best at everything she does. These kids! Lepsa isn't even 20 years old yet and she's already playing the hero. These are basically the same option. What? You like that brat too? I'm sorry, I'm a little jealous because Nina's obsessed with Lepsa recently. You know, Lepsa was adopted by the old man of the Hanel family, and now she's in charge of our power as a lord. Hasn't she always belonged to the Hanel family? She was originally Asbel's apprentice. Don't you think the two are very similar? They use the same weapon, they both love to drink. Oh, they really are. Of course she's amazing, she's strong and good at fighting and really pretty. Everyone loves her. Well, I thought I was the only sister that mattered to you, Nina. Luna. I'm not sad either, it's just that you guys have been talking about Lesba every day and I'm a little jealous. No matter how cool Lesba, Lesba is, she'll never be able to cook delicious meals, delicious dishes like you. You're already untouchable when it comes to cooking. No need to be jealous of anyone. How can cooking be considered an advantage? How could it not be? It's a great advantage. Even the mighty Asbel must eat to survive. The strength that delicious food brings people is very powerful. You can run a huge restaurant by yourself too, which is no simple task. And you're really good at dealing with people. You take good care of every guest. And when you encounter unreasonable customers, you teach them a lesson. Maybe I really am good. Is there anything else? Uh, you're also beautiful. You have a great figure. <laughs> oh, Rose. Let me pet your head. It's great that Mona's feeling better. Thank you, Rose. I feel confident in myself again. 
You and Nina are my most beloved sisters. I'm back. Good morning, Papa. Cherish those who you who love you. Oh, we got a thing. You've completed your training as an apprentice knight much faster than I imagined. Although you're still not as good as I was at your age. Ha! Huh. So accept this brown badge and congrats. Thank you, Lalepsa. I haven't gotten to the end of the forest though. And here are our next set of golds. one. We'll talk with the admirers. I have nothing else to say apart from I love you. P.S. My favorite cookie is enclosed with this letter. Oh, her mood's really low. Oh, that's right. So when her mood drops below 50, all of her attributes get cut in half. So we need to fix that. There we go. We'll use one more. Dodge. We will chat. And give some pocket money. Hmm. Oh, shiny. We'll talk with everyone. Want an apple? What a good day! I know I can do better. As long as I still hold the belief of becoming a knight in my heart, I will not be defeated. Miss, do you need Demon's World clear water? Sure, Let, let's buy from the sketchy merchant. Nice, wise choice, Miss. Welcome to visit again. We don't have a horse, so I don't just. I don't believe we can do horse racing. No, no, no required horse. Don't know how to do the racing. It won't let me? Okay. You can always buy a lot of fresh ingredients at the port. Chat. Well, I guess so. After all, the ingredients are really important, and I'm really good at bargaining with the traders. I can't imagine you bargaining. That's my secret skill. Can I challenge her? Oh, you want to compete? Let me prepare. Oh, this may be a mistake. I lost. I wonder if that counts though. Was that one of them? The challenge? No. Okay. The valley. You're so cute! Would you mind if I joined your fan club? Who are you? How about we sneak out and compete? I heard there's a place that's great for competing. I think I found it last time I was out and about. You really like to take it easy. You 
You've been learning the flame slash. That's a cool move. I'm good at exercising. Come on, let's head out and run around the forest. Oh, we can hang out. Let's try that. Where should we go? Let's try the Colosseum. The duo arrived at the ancient Colosseum in Heathcote. This place has been the training grounds for the Royal Army ever since slavery was abolished. The Royal Army is practicing hard. I want to go throw them off. What will you do with Lepsa? I don't know what the good answers are. That's perfect for dueling. I want to learn how to play for people. <laughs> We didn't get five points. Let's give a gift. Of course, everyone likes money. Oh, you're proactive. I didn't think you'd be the type. The ambiguous atmosphere surrounds the air. Let's end the invitation. Next time I want to sneak out and meet you somewhere, you're good at finding cool places. Exit. Let's go to the forest. You pass a drinking fountain on the wall. A constant stream of shimmering water flows through it. Let's drink the water. to join our party. It is really just do an attack, defend, switch to the other weapon, do an attack, defend. 
and hope that we dodge enough of the attacks that we don't die. Essence stones that we're getting, I think, are used to level up our companions. I can't quite remember. Question mark. Full moon. The clouds roll in, covering the clear skies. The temperatures suddenly drop too. A bright full moon slowly rose into the sky as it became darker. You can hear the distant howling every now and then. Let's uh, imitate the cry of a wolf. Nothing happened. Okay. some mood bonus, we got some fame, got a lot of stuff. Getting better. But we're all out of energy now. It's time to go to the family restaurant and eat some food. We have a snack. Now we can talk with everyone. The noble woman is pregnant with Mr. Charles's baby. Birdie, day is next month. By the way, Rose, you've attended the Birdie Festival before, right? Yeah, I used to go with my papa every year. Oh, that's really nice. I'm a little envious. Huh? Your father. Let's talk about something else. The Bay Festival is next month and I'll be there. Even though you look much older than me, I won't lose to you. Fine, let Night Rose accept your challenge. Is the sea wind blowing through the window? Chat. A significantly tiring day often leads to a good night's sleep. Let's go to the lake. Oh, shiny. Oh, shiny. Take all the things. Hi, Benson. Mm, I just want to hang out in the shade with the weather. This is nice. Let's chat. It's true, the only comfortable place to stay in summer is the shade. Aren't you a little overdressed? It seems overly warm, but I'm used to wearing this jacket. Let's take a nap. I 
don't want to do anything on such a hot day, so it's nice to just lay here. Let's, uh, row the boat. Oh, we got some kelp. We'll row the boat again. And now we don't have enough energy left to do it again. So we can go home. And let's plan for this month. We will do these. We will hang out with a friend. And we'll hang out with Nina. The reason for calling you all here today is to announce a breakthrough in one of the Academy's magical creature studies. In recent years, magical creatures have started to become active again, and I think you are well aware of the importance of this research. I would like to invite Professor Brown, who is in charge of the project, to announce the progress of the research. The excavation site is in the southwest of the Forgotten Forest in the Heathcote area. Heathcote is an ancient city it was taken over by a legendary demon a thousand years ago, and the old king at the time had to move the capital to what became Volcano Country. Today, Heathcote has become a lair of demons. After our warriors opened up the road, we found many ancient scrolls from the ruins. These ancient scrolls were Worn down by weathering and pollution, we spent months deciphering what we could. It told us about degeneration. Degeneration? What? What does it mean? It is well known that the volcano gods created the first three kinds of life. Birds, flowers, and insects. In the most popular version of the legend, the descendants of the volcano goddess went on to create all kinds of life including us humans. However, there is a recent academic there is recent academic evidence that all living things evolved from a small number of common ancestors through natural selection over time. We humans, by the same token, evolved from different organisms. Huh? So there are many different human races before us? Yes, and with a specific process, each can technically degenerate into the race of our origin in theory. The degree of degeneration is related to the level of contamination. Unfortunately, the degenerative process has already begun. According to the reports I have received, there, are, there have been several cases of this happening to animals. Great generation, what are we going to turn into dinosaurs? I'm sure the goddess won't let that happen. If it's true, let's be dinosaur friends. Things seem to have gotten more complicated. One day I'll master it. We completed two courses. I think she can do better next semester. Oh, we got a lot of strength though. It seems that Rose has been doing pretty well, so I can rest assured that my daughter has grown up well. Let's read our letter to Rose. Let's go hunting together sometime, disappearing into the woods for a day to find something to do. Or we can go fishing at the lake, or hiking! What I meant was, don't sit in your study all day long. Let's talk to Nina. Hello, Oprah. Hello, Nina. Is Rose home? Nina, I can't believe you came all the way up to my house to see me. Your house is really far away. But today's a very important day, so I can't put it off any longer. 
What's the big occasion? My divination told me that today is the lucky colour is pink. The lucky place is the forest and the best thing to do is go on a trip. I immediately thought how about I go exploring with Rose and find a precious cherry blossom stone. An adventure with Nina? No problem, I'll go pack right away. Let's go Rose. Nina, you're so well prepared. After all, the Hanel family mansion is nearby. And the expedition items are ready. Ah! It's Butler Obote. Obote? Hmm. Good morning, miss. Your bag is huge! What's inside it? And this is a gift from Lesbos... Fans? I'm about to dispose of it? Huh? Throw it away? Isn't this gift for Lesa? Yes, it must be disposed of precisely because it is a gift for Honourable Lepsa. It would be bad if there were dangerous items included threatening Lesbos personal safety. Have you asked Lepsa about it? Cheap things like flowers and gifts are meaningless to me, just throw them away, was her response. Well, if that's what she wants. Butler Obate. Why don't you leave it to us to dispose of it? We can handle it. Yes, we're knights. We can do it. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Please do not tell the others of this. Taking it home is especially forbidden, Nina. Yes, I know. We got it! A gift bag! You didn't want to throw it away, so you asked the butler for it? It's true. I don't want to dispose of such a thing. Why? Rose, let me tell you. As for the gift itself, it's a concept full of mindfulness which contains the positive emotion of the giver towards the recipient. Because I am grateful to someone, yearn for someone, and love someone, I want to give a gift to the other party, and I hope this feeling can be conveyed to the other party when I do it. The most valuable part of the is not the gift itself, but the intention contained within the gift to let the other party know you love them. It shows clear intentions, which also contain courage, which is the most powerful kind of thought. If these gifts contain powerful thoughts, are thrown away without observation, they will be let down. And if one is not careful, they may even become negative thought. And so these gifts cannot just be thrown away. All mindful mindfulness must be observed before it can be considered properly. You mean, we're here to be observers? Yes! Now let's find a place to unpack this bag. Hmm, a painting for Lesba, a Lesba doll, a belt with Lesba's name on it. There's nothing dangerous in it like that butler said. Wow, there's a book of poems in here. It seems to be poems for Lesba. Lepsa. This book of poems is very has very strong positive thoughts. Let's read them out. The more I see how powerful you are, the smaller I feel. But I'm glad you exist in the world. It is what makes me so small, so cowardly. I'm glad that you exist in the world so that my small, weak self can reflect the great beauty you in beautiful you in my eyes. It's well written. The author's feelings towards their loved one is very strong. Feelings are gentle. Today I my tooth knocked out knocked on the bowl. Ouch. I immediately remembered your little tiger teeth. Thinking of you. End. This is gone? Oh, very cute thoughts. Thanks for your hospitality. Well, now these things can be disposed of. Should we really get rid of them? Don't feel bad. The positive thoughts have been observed by us. Not just us, but the birds and the flowers in the same time and space as us. And the time we have spent 
have all been influ influenced by it. Influenced. Yeah, I'm in a good mood now. Right. That's the effect of positive thinking. Spending time with you is fun, and a big reason why I'm in a good mood. That's one of the reasons, of course. We give each other the purest energy. We love each other, and so we became friends. That's right. I get it, Nina. Well, have a good night's sleep. I'm back. It's someone's birthday. Whose birthday is it? It's someone's birthday? It's yours! Happy birthday, Oberon! This is... This is all for me? Thank you, everyone. This doll is for you. Although it's not very good. Don't be modest, this is the best doll I've ever seen in the whole entire world. Thank you, Rose. Now it's all mine, my very own treasure. Well, as long as Papa likes it. A rainstorm would be cool during this time of year. She's got some concerns. Confronted the load of Rose, Oberon decides to... Chat. Papa, I have some good news to tell you secretly. Do you want to listen? I want to listen to it. It's like this. I talked to my classmates about parents a few days ago, and several of them thought you were cool, Papa. They said although Uncle Oberon doesn't like to talk, he is not fierce at all. He is reliable. <laughs> Papa is popular. I feel quite decent. I've been a father, whether cool or reliable, is what I should do, Rose. I see. So what's the best character in the world, Papa? Hmm. Courage to move forward. I see. Actually, I never think about it carefully. Your answer is good, Papa. If you think too much when encountering difficulties, you will feel timid. It's better to do it. As time passes, there's nothing to fear. At that time, you'll become very strong. Okay, I see, Papa. I'm pretty sure the different options give different bonuses and affect the father goal differently. Yeah, I think it changes this. We uh, are not doing so well. So we can't go exploring today because we have the festival. So we might as well use up the energy we have here at home before the festival. Let's play some role playing games. Just like that, her mood is all filled up. Right, to the festival! Yes. I'm getting ready to go, Papa. What gifts did Papa prepare this year? Let's do three. Papa is so generous! I'm going out. I'll meet up with Nina today. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I want to go too. Uh, I, I didn't mean to not invite you. It's just that... Just let Rose and her friends go and enjoy. <laughs> I'm kidding. You and Nina go, should go have fun. I see. So it was a joke. I promise to do my best. Have a good time with Nina. I will. I'll have a great time with my friends. I didn't need to worry about her mood at all. It seems that some people are not so important anymore. This year's 
birdie day was extra busy. There are so many little kids. There's a lot of aspiring mathematicians this year. I bet they'll be even stronger next year too. I heard that they trained for a whole month to get more gifts. Well, how about we do special training next year too? But there may not be a camping competition next year. Yeah, maybe next year there'll be a drawing contest. Hello, please learn about the theory of great degeneration. This is what the principal Byron was talking about. We conducted an extreme degeneration experiment using an ordinary white mouse, and after only one month of the contamination period, the mouse degenerated into a species that has been extinct for 300 years. This is extremely similar to the degeneration process recorded in the ancient books of magical creatures. And now the entire volcano country has already entered the degeneration process. The contents of this publication are absolutely true, I swear on the goddess, please do not take them light. I heard the maids in my house discussing something this morning. It's not even a few days since the Dean proposed the degeneration theory. So I don't think rebels are trying to use this to create disturbance. But it's hard to attract attention at this level, right? After all, we still use mice. Human disease has not been studied yet. That's right, the propaganda may scare some children, but we are not so easy to fool. I'm more curious about why they mentioned pollution. Never mind, let's go back. I'll send someone to investigate privately. You want to go back? I'll see you next time. If you find out the results of the investigation, let me know. I'm also curious. Of course, no problem. Mona was experimenting with amazing, amazing dishes yesterday. I'll bring you some tomorrow. I heard that this year's arithmetic competition is organized into teams. If I were younger, I would come to you to form a team. Hey, are we going to participate in the birdie festival? We aren't children anymore. Did you not want to come? I remember you said you want to go somewhere busy to find inspiration. Maybe I did say that. I don't know how you remember these things though. Come on, let's play something before leaving. Ah, the game of the year. It's arithmetic again. Do we really have to do this? Yes, let's go. Why did you have to be good at math? Why couldn't it be anything else? Everyone loves the birdie festival, so it shouldn't matter if you take part in it secretly. Shall we spin the lucky wheel? Yes. We will pick blue. It used to spin much faster than this. I lost. Counting contest. Let's invite to the counting tournament. Okay, let's have fun. Right click confirm, left click to switch option again. Are you going to take part in the math contest? Let's double check the list. Rose and Nina. It's the two of us. That's right. Alright, please take your seats and get ready to answer the questions. Please choose the difficulty of the topic. The higher the difficulty, the higher the chance to receive more rewards. What's a good difficulty to choose? Slightly difficult, maybe.
71 points. We got two vouchers. Now we pick the numbers. Seven? Thirteen? Thirty-two? Thirty-six? And... Seventeen. Can't wait to show Papa what I won today. I've been feeling a little strange since I woke up today. My face is all itchy. What the hell is going on? Oh, we got paid! Excellent. Well, the lady boss gave me some dis discount coupons after work. How to use it? I'm not interested in wine. So Rose will have more money to spend. So let me start a new job now. Mm. How is it time for this batch of horses? Everyone will work at the stables. What's in the news? Many residents received flyers with the Great Degradation theory, theory printed at the Scholar team at St. Elmo's. Has confirmed the contents to be rumors. The evil cult spraying the flyers is under investigation for spraying of this information will result in immediate arrest. Volcano Alto welcomes everyone. Remember and reflect every inch of this land. Volcano Alta is open to all. Welcome to donate historical artifacts and art. To help more people understand the history of Volcano Kingdom, the opening of the altar is essential. We exist here and are connected to all the ones before us. Their existence is the bridge for the next generation, guiding us onto a path to believe. The dust called a bath is so popular, double pay, okay. Well, we might stop here for now, and we will continue on next time. Once again, I am Olivia, and this is Volcano Princess, and until then, have a safe journey.